All right, welcome back to my uh, boat restoration channel. So this week I'm painting the cockpit. And you saw in the last video, I did some of the uh, nod skid here. And I've gone ahead and primered and put the first coat of paint on the, uh, the cockpit here. And it's starting to look really good. And I've got my paint mixed up and I'm about to do the second coat. And I will do an additional coat every day uh, or maybe twice a day until I get the correct thickness on here. And then uh, depending on how it looks, I'll go back to, to the, uh, some of the areas and I'll wet sand and buff that to get it uh, as smooth as I want. So let's get started. So got my paint mixed here. And the first coat I put on was really thin. And this one is not as thin, but um, the, the thinner that you use will evaporate really quick, so you have to keep adding a little bit of thinner. And they say to only thin it 10%. Um, that's not true. <laughs> now you can do that, but um, I think it needs to be a little thinner. And you know, the first coat I put on was very close to water. It was so thin and it really flows out much better when it's thinner. So it's just kind of a learning curve. I guess if I was doing this the first time, I definitely would just do the 10% until I, until I got to a position where I knew the correct amount to thin it that was gonna suit my needs. This is not the roller I like to use. I, uh, I like to use a mohair roller, but um, on surfaces like this, if you get it that thin with the mohair roller, it will run really fast. So you've got to make sure you get all the paint out of it. Actually, this roller is not it's not doing very well. It's, uh, it doesn't want to roll properly. So I'm going to switch out to a different roller to get all the paint out of this one. I'm actually going to go to a mohair roller. not a mohair roller but it's a it's only a quarter inch nap and it's pretty similar to uh, what a mohair roller would be and I may need to thin this up just a little bit now ah, we're rolling good now, I don't have to I don't have to put much paint in the area where the nod skid will go There's a lot of areas here on the boat in the cockpit that I can't get a roller to. So in that case, I'm gonna use this foam brush and just kind of hope for the best in some of those areas. Like around this right here, you can't really, can't really get it in there and uh, if I've used the correct mixture and the temperature's right, it will still flow out nice. All right, so that is the finish of two coats. I am out of paint, so I've got to order more paint and I'm gonna let this dry. I'll sand all this by hand to scuff up the surface and then lay probably two or three more coats over it. But the texture come out really nice. Um, 
I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, by painting over that, it really looks nice. So on the rest of the, the deck here, I'll just do it a little more aggressive so that, um, you know, provide more, uh, more grip. And then I'll paint over it just like I did in the cockpit. All right, I just finished taping and cutting the, uh, the corners and I'm now getting ready to, uh, to put the nod skid down.
All right, I got all the knots get on and it looks really good. So now it's time to just let it dry. And uh, so I think this is definitely the best way to put knots get on. I mixed a little bit of uh, silica in with the uh, high build, Alex Seal high build primer, just a little bit to, to thicken it up, to give me a, just a little bit more aggressive uh, texture. And the trick is to use a regular roller to roll it on and then come back over it with the textured roller. You don't want to put it on with the textured roller. Uh, you definitely have to use just any old regular roller to put it on and then come over the top of it with the textured roller. All right, so I'm back here in the uh, storage building and while I've been waiting on everything to dry and I'm, wait I'm still waiting on paint to come in, I went ahead and started working on the plexiglass windows. So I'm going to take out the traditional uh, aluminum frame windows and glass windows and we're putting in a, uh, some plexiglass windows. So I went and I bought some, uh, this is quarter inch tinted plexiglass and I used a template and cut it all out with a jigsaw and then finished my, my edges real nice made sure they were straight and smooth and then I went over it with a uh, with a router and I round over the edges. I've got this done and uh, I'm not going to do this project yet. I'm going to wait till I finish putting the paint on the deck but let's go up and take a look at the non skid. Alright so here it is and uh, I don't have much of a light so I hope you can uh, hope you can make out this non skid. But it's really, uh, it's just perfect. Um, if you can tell the, the, the edges here, you might can see it better down here. But it really is, it turned out really nice. And unfortunately, like I said, I don't have my light. I haven't used my cell phone light. But um, it's just a perfect, perfect texture. And I will, um, as soon as I get the paint, I'll go back over everything, clean it up, and then paint it one more time for the last and final, final uh, paint. And this this will be done. I'll start putting the the um, hardware back on, the mast, getting it ready, put the windows in, and uh, be time to take this to the lake. So anyway, this portion is done. I'm just waiting on some paint. And as soon as my paint comes in and the temperature's right, I will uh, paint the entire deck and, and um, cockpit here one final time. And that will, uh, that will finish the painting of the, uh, of the deck. And, um, but that's all the time I have for this video. Um, Hopefully in the next video I'll have the paint and we can get this finished and start on to something else. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.